Hi. In this class, we will learn how to set up EVENG software on the VMware workstation. Before setting up EVENG software, I would request you to check your laptop or desktop capabilities. You can visit the EVENG system requirement page for more information. I will drop the link in the description box for your reference. Generally, you need a minimum 6 gig memory, 50 gig hard disk, and 4 virtual CPUs. RAM and CPU may also vary, it depends on how many nodes are needed to run in a virtual lab. Make sure you enable the virtualization feature for the CPU. Let's see how we can set up a virtual lab on our laptop using this software. First download the VMware Workstation software from the certified website, or you can also download the same from the link provided in the description box. It's very easy to download and install the VMware Workstation software on your laptop. Let's first set up the VMware, and later on, we will set up EVENG software. In Google search engine, type the comment VMware Workstation Player Download. Don't be confused with the search option. There are two versions available on the website, VMware Workstation Player and VMware Workstation Pro. The VMware Workstation Player is a free version, and the VMware Workstation Pro is a licensed version. Although, both the versions are licensed versions, if you install the software on corporate provided devices. The VMware Player version is absolutely free, if you install the software on your personal laptop. Another important point is, download the corresponding software, as per your requirement. For example, if you are using a Windows operating system, download the Windows compatible software. If you are using the Linux operating system, then download the Linux compatible software. Here I am using the Windows 10 operating system, and this video is for those who are using Windows operating system. Click on the download for free button to download the software. It will take you to another page. Here you can see the latest version of the VMware software. In case you face any challenges, you can visit the EVENG website to download the VMware software. Let me tell you how, open the EVENG website, click on the download button. Now scroll the page a little down. You will find a link download VMware workstation player. By clicking on this link, it will also take you to the VMware website. Click on the go to downloads button. It will again take you on another page, where you will find a download link. Once the software is downloaded, double click on the setup file downloaded and follow the process to complete the installation process. I have the VMware workstation already installed on my laptop. Let's quickly review it. On my laptop, I am using the Pro version. Although, there is no major difference in both the software. Now the important point is to check the interface information. Post VMware installation, the VMware software initially activates two interfaces, VMNet 1 and VMNet 8. You can use both the interfaces for any purpose. For example, here I will use the VMNet 1 interface to access the EVENG virtual lab, and will use the VMNet 8 interface to bridge the virtual topology to access the devices directly from the local laptop. In my laptop, the VMNet 1 interface has 192.168.85.1 IP address, and the VMNet 8 interface has 192.168.124.1 IP address. It's up to you, you can use the same IP scheme, or you can change the IP addresses of the interfaces. Let's see how we can change the IP addresses for the interfaces. At the left-hand side, on the top corner, click on Edit, and then click on Virtual Interface Editor. Now you can see both the interface details. The VMNet 1 interface is set to host only, which means that the interfaces can be used to access software installed in VMware. The VMNet 8 interface is set to NAT which means that you can bind this interface to your physical Ethernet interface or Wi-Fi interface. Let's change the IP address scheme for the VMNet 1 interface. 
Select the VMNet 1 interface and click on Option Change Settings. It will require administrator permission to proceed. Once you provide the permission, it will pop up another window and you will have three interfaces, VMNet 0, VMNet 1 and VMNet 8. Select the VMNet 1 interface and change the subnet details. Now click on the option DHCP settings. You will see another window for DHCP settings where it will allow you to change the subnet pool. Once the subnet changes are done, click on the button OK, then again click on the button OK. To validate whether the changes are done, open the command prompt and run the command IP config. If the status remains the same, you may require to reload your laptop or desktop to see the changes. Same way, you can change the networker subnet details for the VMNet 8. Now we are done with the VMware workstation part and the time is to set up EVENG virtual lab in the VMware workstation. Visit the EVENG website www.eve-ng.net. On the top, you will see a download button. Click on the download button. This will take you to the download page. Now again, the EVENG provides two types of software. One is Community Edition and another is Professional Edition. The Professional Edition is licensed software. This software has a number of benefits. One of them is, you can get the software support by opening a service ticket. The Community Edition is a free version where the company does not guarantee anything. Since it's just a beginning for you, I would recommend you to download the Community Edition. The Community Edition is enough to run multiple nodes. Even, you can test almost 90% of features for routing and switching. Let's download the EVNG software from its official website. Slightly scroll the page down and you will see a text written, Free EV Community Edition version. There are two types of installation software available. Either you download the OVF file and import directly into the VMware workstation, or you can download the ISO file and install it in the VMware workstation manually. I would recommend you to download the OVF file and import it into the VMware workstation. It's a very easy task and a time-saving process. There are two mirror links available to download the software. You can choose any of them. Both the links have the same software file. Click on the Google Mirror link and download the file. I will pause the video for a while because it is more than 1 GB file and it will take time for downloading. I have successfully downloaded the file. The download file is a zipped one and you need to unzip the file. If the WinRAR software is installed on your laptop, you can use it to unzip the file. Or you use the Windows default software to unzip the file. Once the unzip process is done, you will see three files. Don't make any changes on these files. Now it's time to import the EVENGOVF file into the VMware workstation. On the home screen, select the option Open a virtual machine. Browse the file or folder where you unzip the file. Select the EVENG file to import. It will take hardly a few seconds to import the file into the VMware workstation. You can see the EVENG has been successfully imported and the default setting of the virtual machine has reflected. By default, it allocates 8 GB RAM, 4 core processors, 50 GB hard disk space, 1 network interface, and some extra things. You can customize the option accordingly. In my case, I have 16 GB memory in my laptop. 
so I am planning to increase memory from 8 GB to 12 GB. Also I will do some changes for processors and network interface. Regarding the processor, I have one socket, four core and eight logical processors, and I will make the changes accordingly. I will also change the interface setting from bridging to host only. So that I can directly access the EVENG lab from the local laptop. Once the changes are done, it's time to power on the machine. However, make sure you have enabled the virtualization feature. To do this, keep the EVENG software turned off. Click on Option Edit Virtual Machine Settings, click on Processors, and check mark the option Virtualize Intel VT. Let's verify this also, and we'll power on the lab later. The EVENG software dynamically picks up the IP address from the VMware workstation, and will display the same on the login screen. Right now nothing is inside in the virtual lab. Let me show you for reference purposes. We are not yet done, watch the subsequent videos to learn how to install images in the virtual lab. See you in the next video. Bye.